Hi, my name is Justin. I'm a physical therapist here at Hogue Orthopedic Institute. This video is intended for our patients having spine surgery to review precautions and practice proper body mechanics to make getting around after spine surgery safer and easier. After spine surgery, it is important to follow general spine precautions to minimize stress to your spine. Rule number one is to avoid bending your spine. Don't bend sideways and don't bend forwards or backwards. Also, it's important to avoid any heavy lifting. For example, do not try to lift a chair because this would be too much stress on your spine surgery. And lastly, it's important to avoid twisting your back. And try to apply these general precautions to all your activities of daily living, whether you're in bed, standing, walking, or even sitting in a chair. Let's go over these activities in more detail. When getting into bed, it's important to minimize stress at the spine by practicing what we call the log roll technique. You want to keep your spine nice and straight by engaging your core muscles. When you lay down on your side, use your arms simultaneously bringing both legs into the bed. When you roll to your back, keep your shoulders in line with your hips and roll like a log. Have a pillow ready at the foot of the bed that you can relax both legs on and relax the back. When you're ready to position onto your side, just bend both knees, pull the pillow out from underneath the legs, and put it between your legs. Then roll like a log by keeping your shoulders in line with your hips, all in one piece. When you're ready to sit at the edge of the bed, bring the pillow out and leave it at the foot of the bed. When you're ready to push up, push with both arms simultaneously, allowing both legs to relax and dangle at the edge of the bed. Throughout the whole sequence, it's important to keep your core muscles engaged to protect the spine. It's important to remember not to twist your spine trying to reach for the lights. It's also important to remember not to reach for the bed sheets. And please do not try to do a sit up to get out of bed because that would cause too much stress at your back. Another thing that is very common is people practice the log roll by partially rolling instead of doing a full log roll. So do not do this. When you're ready to stand up, remember to engage your abdominal muscles to protect the spine. Scoot to the edge of the bed, bring both feet underneath the body, push to a standing position keeping the back straight. When you're ready to sit down in the chair or the toilet seat, remember to reach back with both hands for the armrest, then sit down using both hips and knees, scoot back to a supported position, and position a pillow for comfort if needed. When you do choose your to toilet seat or your chair, remember to choose one with a surface that hits above the knees, and preferably one with armrest for support. Remember not to sit for more than 20 to 30 minutes at a time to minimize the stress to the back. And when you do get up out of the chair or off the toilet seat, remember to scoot to the edge first to avoid bending the spine. If the physician feels it is necessary, they may require you to wear a brace. The brace looks something like this. You want to center the brace over your back, pull the straps, and make sure they're equal. Then Velcro over the abdomen and pull the side straps outwards and forward while sucking in the belly to make sure you have good tension. But do make sure that you can breathe comfortably. When you stand up, double check the fit of the brace to make sure it's centered over your low back and adjust the tension straps to make sure you're comfortable. Expect to rest for the first 24 to 48 hours after surgery. Walking is the best form of exercise, starting out slowly and gradually increasing your distance. Also, it is permitted to go up and down stairs taking one step at a time and holding a handrail for safety. Do expect some discomfort and gradually increase your activities as tolerated. Remember to consult with your physician before starting any new exercise program.
When it's time to go home in your car, remember, just gonna walk up to the car, back up until the back of both legs touch the car, reach back with your hands and sit down, remembering not to bend your back. Push back, swivel into the car without twisting the spine, keeping your shoulders in line with your hips. When you get home, swivel out of the car all in one piece, remembering not to twist the back. Scooch to the edge of the car seat and stand up. Remember to practice safely and remember the BLT, no bending, no lifting, and no twisting.